Please tell us your name and roll number for this exam. Uh, sir, uh, myself, uh, Bhakti Bindal Salla. ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन Uh, sir, uh, uh, I am graduated from uh, Onmul Autonomous College. Uh, then I pursued B.A. in Nambakrishnan uh, Chowdhury College of Technical Education in uh, Onmul. Then I also pursued M.A. Then uh, uh, I started my classes in uh, D.A.D. Public School, private uh, school partner. Then uh, I uh, I selected in O.A.B.S. and posted in Bora Foundation for higher education. Then now, now I am uh, here transferred to Noya District, Oro Amla. Presently, here uh, uh, about uh, six seven months. Okay. Are you interested in joining uh, Odisha Education Service? Give us at least two three good reasons. Sir, uh, uh, I am working in education since two thousand fourteen. That is, I am teaching uh, 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 in secondary schools and private schools, government schools, and OEHs. That's why I am uh, uh, I am I want to explore my knowledge and experience uh, uh, so that uh, in the education field uh, there there will be some development and I will contribute uh, uh, my experience um, in the field of education. Okay. So, according to you, what are the major challenges that the school education in Odisha faces now? Three, at least three, important to tell me, and what are the solutions according to you? Mainly dropout issue. One. Then second, uh, teacher shortage. Teacher shortage. Okay, second and third. Then, uh, Uh, I I can say uh, quality of education that is training and professional development of teachers. Okay. And uh, according to you, what are the solutions to this? Sir, to reduce dropout, we must have to uh, uh, the government has to make a clear cut plans. Uh, to cut down dropout according uh, by following uh, the guidelines and the national education policy also emphasizes that uh, how to cut down that uh, dropout and we must have to strict about the guidelines and uh, uh, in my view uh, mentorship program mentorship program in every school is must uh, to cut down uh, cut down dropout. And uh, um, and the second uh, one is that uh, teachers, teachers that uh, Odisha is facing a shortage of teachers, and government must have to recruit more number of teachers. And I appreciate that government uh, in the last month government has decided to uh, recruit six thousand number of teachers. That is uh, um, um, that is L uh, L L W P teachers, I think. Um, Uh, then uh, the third issue that is uh, once the teachers are appointed, they are teaching as their own uh, own way. That is the uh, uh, in my view there must be there must be ten to twenty days professional development in every year. The teacher must have to do so that uh, uh, their teaching uh, capability uh, will improve. It will enhance the also. It will um, um, it will reflect in the teachers' uh, enhancement also. Sorry, the students' enhancement. Okay. Right. So you have prepared uh, 
your uh, presentation on which topic? Dot how to issue in secondary school. Then you can start your presentation. Okay, the writing material is there. If you want, you can have some water before that. Secondary schools of uh, uh, the national education policy, the national education policy 2020 2020, uh, focuses uh, about this dropout, dropout, and uh, uh, the national education policy said we must have to curtail the dropout to ensure 100 percent enrollment and to, to achieve 100 percent enrollment, the right to education act. Uh, which has been uh, uh, implemented, um, it has ensured 100 percent, 100 percent enrollment, enrollment in primary schools. But it has failed to achieve 100 percent enrollment in the secondary schools. Now the latest study, that is the UDI plus study, it also emphasizes that uh, uh, gives the result that uh, in Odisha there is a uh, hundred percent enrollment in primary school, and and in secondary schools the uh, dropout rate is twenty seven percent, twenty seven point two percent, which is highest highest among all the states and union districts. So this is the big concern ever in a data market. What is that? Being field work and sir, also the national education policy causes that uh, retention rate. Retention rate is uh, uh, less, very very less in uh, secondary schools. That is fifty nine percent retention rate. In primary education, it is hundred percent. Second education is seven. Sorry, in middle uh, school education, that is uh, uh, upper primary, it is uh, more about uh, seventy nine percent something, and uh, in uh, secondary education, it is fifty nine percent. So the gross enrollment ratio is less here, which has been focused by the national education policy, and it is. Uh, uh, we can also find that uh, uh, we can also see the recent views about the metric examination in secondary schools. There are uh, uh, in last year about 55,000 students are absent in metric examinations, and also in this year there are 13 to 15,000 students are absent. So let's, uh, this is the main cause. I think. Uh, uh, this is the main issue nowadays. Dropout issue is the main high, highlight uh, uh, issue uh, uh, for uh, education and audition. So, if you we see the statistics, if you see the statistics, the different districts, different districts, Kolhapur district, Kolhapur. District talks in dropout rate. That is uh, about that uh, uh, 45,000 students, there are 6,500 something students are absent in Kolahani district. Then, that is in the interior uh, districts, there are more dropouts. So, these are the survey results. And if you see the Divyan students also. If you go to the statistics of the that is the children with special needs, the trend also is there. In private education, there are some 80,000 uh, 80, uh, Libyan students are there. In uh, uh, middle class, it is, it is uh, uh, 45,000. In secondary schools, it is 20,000. In senior secondary, it is all, almost 1,200. That is, where are these children are going? That is, we are not providing quality education to the Libyans also. We are not providing special educator to the Libyans also. That's why 
these uh, figures are uh, uh, found in uh, uh, found in the survey that is the uh, Udai survey. Um, also, you can also see the uh, NSSO survey, National Statistical Survey for Office. We can also find out that there are uh, more dropouts in Udai. Okay, now. What are the reasons behind this dropout? The reasons behind dropout, the reasons, the, I think the first reason is poverty. Poverty. Because if you see the if you see the statistics, we can find out more number of uh, uh, students are absent in uh, the uh, rural areas. That is Koraput, Kolahandi. Uh, in these areas, so they are poverty major. Uh, poverty is the main issue. We can uh, uh, say that uh, the latest study about that uh, Niti Aayog has uh, studied that uh, about uh, about twenty nine percent, twenty nine point seven percent people are uh, below the poverty line in Odisha, which is very 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 post. Um, if we want to compare with the national um, uh, national data, the national poverty rate is uh, uh, twelve point something, but in Odisha it is twenty nine point seven. So main problem is uh, uh, the poverty. If we control poverty, then uh, we must uh, find the we must uh, um, um, uh, enhance the quality of education. Then. Uh, the second issue, second issue, I think uh, we can say also COVID, COVID-19. The COVID-19 plays a very important role because in uh, the um, the last year, about 18 months, the schools were closed. That's why those uh, those children who are comes, comes under the poverty lines, they are, they become uh, um, daily workers, they become some migrant workers, they. Due to this property. Okay. Okay, so I think that will be fine. You can take your seat. Okay. So um dropout rate, you have talked about the dropout rate. So two things you tell me. One, what are the steps which have been taken by the government till now to reduce the dropout rates? Sure. Number one. Second, what uh, more needs to be done or what uh, suggestions you can give to do something better? Mm. Sir, so now the government is uh, emphasizing on 5P, 5P transformation in schools. Where, uh, about, uh, uh, in Odisha, there are about 10,000 numbers of uh, secondary schools. Uh, now, the third uh, including first phase, second phase, and third phase, and transformation, there are 6,000 uh, schools are already transformed. Where uh, uh, in the more infrastructures are there and uh, quality education to be provided and the number of teachers are recruited there. So it will uh, it will uh, um, um, it will uh, reduce the dropout in no more number of times. Then the number of which Odisha also developed. Odisha also developed is the main kind of our teaching issue, and it is providing quality education. The uh, rural bells, you know that uh, uh, the Odisha the first 100 schools are reopened in uh, five days. Okay. Next, government policy. Government says that who are dropout. Dropout means if a children, if a child do not come to the school for seven days, it is the responsibility of the class teacher to go and uh, go to the children's home and bring them to the children. If uh, then if the children will not come, then the headmaster will go to the children's home and counsel there to counsel and come back to the school. If further the children is remaining absent, then the school managing committee will go to the children's home and counsel there. Then I think the children will come back to the school. If nothing uh, happens, then we can say this is a top out student. And uh, so these are the guidelines. 
if we follow these guidelines strictly, if a teacher class teacher will follow these guidelines strictly, if it is a uh, student is absent ever more than seven days, he must have to go and uh, be with the children. Then why the children is not coming? We have to find the root cause. If we find the root cause, then we have to we can uh, make policies uh, to control uh, the problem. Then in my view, in my view, if the children is coming to the school regularly. Or if the children is uh, not interested to uh, come uh, to the school regularly, in my view, that is uh, mentoring facility what should be given to uh, them. Mostly the low achiever students, they are dropped out in particular schools. Low achiever students means uh, they are uh, refused to do that. Uh, uh, if I uh, if I go and sit in the secondary school board examination, then I may fail. So these are the uh, low achievers. If we Mentor the low achievers, then we can say there will, there will be less problem. And if we also mentorship provide, mentorship will be provided to high achievers also. So mentorship program management and management is a school level. That means the headmaster will manage how to reduce that. Problem. That is the headmaster will ensure that no student will uh, will uh, take this from my school this is the management then uh, um, uh, then i say uh, that uh, mentoring facility and uh, monitoring monitoring every child monitoring every child this we will uh, enhance the uh, uh, will control the drop operator right? that's it oh, okay so Currently, there is a dispute going on regarding uh, the legalization of same-sex marriages. Same. The matter is in the Supreme Court now. So, uh, what is your, uh, you know, opinion regarding this? Do you support it or do you oppose it? And you give some good reasons for that. Sir, uh, in my view, Every person has the right to live. If they wanted to uh, live in the uh, same sex marriage, then uh, we must allow them. So, this is my view, sir. Okay. And what is the reason for that? According to you, what is the reason? Reason, uh, reason is that. Uh, Religion is not a fundamental right. Every uh, person has the fundamental right to live. That's why I must. Uh... Mm -hmm. Okay. So, suppose you are the uh, block education officer of a district, of a block, and uh, your school is in a tribal area, but the tribal students, okay, they are not uh, enrolling in the school. Participation is very less. So government has asked you, given you the responsibility to improve the participation of the tribal children, tribal students in the formal education, main education, mainstream education. What steps can you take? Uh, sir, uh, in tribal uh, uh, belt, there, is, uh, there are some more uh, SCST development schools are there where hostel facilities are provided. So I must uh, ensure that every uh, children in the SCST development, uh, SCST uh, community, that uh, they will join the hostel school. So that there will be no, uh, there will be no uh, uh, poverty to uh, tackle them, or there will be no parental uh, course. So that the children will uh, go to the hostel and stay there and uh, uh, learn according to the syllabus. And uh, we must ensure that we must ensure that that every child in uh, that uh, SCT category group that will join the uh, state, state uh, SCT development school. In the practice, no one uh, will left again. 
Okay. Right. So suppose uh, your uh, results are results have come out, and uh, you find that your name is not in the list. So what are the next three things that you will do at that moment? Just now you have seen the PDF. Your name is not there. Oh yes, result. Oh yes, result. Huh. Immediately next three things that you will do. Sir, uh, if my name is not there, mm -hmm. then uh, I will uh, ensure that next, uh, next uh, for the next recruitment, I will prepare more hard. Okay. So you will try to find out your lacuna in this exam yes. and you will improve on that. Yes, improve mine. Right. Okay. Right. This is the opposite question. Suppose results have come out and your best friend has uh, called you Sir. and he informs that your name is there in the list. Then immediately, next three things that you will do. Uh, then I must uh, prepare uh, myself. Um, what will be the roles and responsibility? No, that is a long term music. I'm saying immediately. If they just go and ask you, I'm not going to go to the house. I'm not going to go to the house. In that particular moment, I will be more happy that I will. So, in that case, in that happiness, what will you do? First of all, I will um, thank to my mother. Okay. Um, mother and father, then my wife. Okay. Because their cooperation is there. Okay. Then, then I will call to my primary um, school teacher who had taught me. Okay. Um, and uh, I will say that uh, I was later in the second Okay. Good. So, fine, that will be the end of the interview. Now, evaluation. So, get the points. Hotel, the flow of speech, eye contact, a good as a book, quite good. All much. It's a very cheap program. In book, upon changes, the trail one for you. Um, good. He, I don't know, you hand position, right? Hatota, I don't know, and two for you go over a height to make it over your right. Second thing is that you have to do this. Yes, sir. 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 If you answer the opinion based question, you can ask the case for the tribal. If you have an opinion based question, you can ask the point of 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 Rather than the paragraph, the lekhis. Then who get to be exactly said? Okay. Otherwise, uh, other things are fine. Apna ko smile bhi maintain hi ki rohti, so you are not very uh, serious. Ate na, so seta maintain kori be. Our content to jitte apna body be, sitte apna kora better hoga. Okay. Rest of other things are fine. Mark jo dimu dekhi aaj interview ra around hundred fifty, you will get around hundred out of hundred fifty. Okay. Now twenty marks test ta koron to takwa ho. What happening? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.